Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud Snaps. This is Suresh, DevOps Engineer. Today we are going to see how to set the lab for your local environment. I am going to use the DigitalOcean Cloud providers because these people are giving $200 credit for 60 days. So just open your browser uh, and type like DigitalOcean 200 credit and click the first link. then go to use your uh, gmail id for the sign up uh, like i'm already having the account so i'll show you how to do that so just like uh, any gmail id and enter your password as well I have put two step of verification just for my security purposes. So it's loading. Accept the cookies. So after this, like uh, you are going to add your card here. So just give you any debit card, like a Visa card or credit card number and uh, give the details like a month and year and the cvc number and also have to provide the card holder name and here have to click india uh, then just like your address uh, i'm from chennai so i'm giving chennai here yeah that's it and have to give the code zip code so after that i'm going to give the save payment payment method it's going to take uh, around four dollars uh, around five dollars it's like four thirteen rupees actually so it will the cost would be uh, five dollars uh, for the 60 days credit so after the creation uh, you get the panel like this the dashboard will be like this After you give the card details, after you make the payment, the car, uh, dashboard will be like this. So here we are going to create three machines. Uh, we can uh, we are going to call like droplets uh, for this cloud. So droplet in the sense uh, like just a virtual machine. So uh, the digital ocean will be allowed for creation uh, three droplets. We can create three. So I already created three machines. I'll show you where it is. See, these three missions are my lab environment. So first mission, like I give uh, have to choose our region where it is like usually we are, I'm, we are going to choose like India, Bangalore and we have almost uh, 10 regions availability and it's, uh, make that make sure all those things in default and have to choose the OS version I'm going to use Ubuntu so I'm going to choose 20.04 sorry it's a stability version Click 
and then choose the size of it so the size in the sense like uh, we have five sizes basic general purposes cpu uh, optimized memory optimized storage optimized so the cpu level also i am giving uh, this i am going to i am giving premium amd machine so it's like in this machine we we going to get 8 gb ram 160 gb ssd and 5 tb transfer so this machine for the master using only so because we are going to install all the devops major tools in master machine so other two machines it's like a slave machines just like a work node so i am going to give the high configuration of this machine so it's like just click this 56 dollar machine per month and give the password so the password must be eight eight letter more than more than eight letter and uh, first letter we have we have a conditions for the password so once we meet the conditions like just give the machine name what it is so i'm going i already gave sk master like create dot droplet that's it the same way have to create another two machines so from that machines you have to use here uh, 14 dollar or 21 dollar 2 gb is more than enough for the slave machines so after your creation like i am using for connection uh mobile extreme so see these are the ips we have to once we on the machine will created have to choose the public ip ipv ipv4 ip just copy and open the mobile extreme the uh, remote machine connection tool and uh, i am familiar with uh, mobile extreme if you want to connect using putty or git uh, git bash you can use it whatever you want so using ssh key and make a connection root at the ip address just click that's it so here have to give the permission like i am giving the permission yes after that it's going to be login automatically because i have set already the passwordless authentication i am going to show you how to do that so first you need to open the new session from here you have to create the ssh keygen using ssh keygen command ssh underscore ssh underscore keygen just click enter so you have to give the location of the key the name would be uh, rd underscore rsa i already have a key so that's what it, uh, the mobile extreme asked me like uh, you want to overwrite so i said yes just click the enter also enter the key has been created from which this location slash home my username slash uh, dot ssh slash id underscore rsa dot pub we have to copy the public key to another machines so already we know the mission ip here you can see the public ip of the master machine this is my ip so after this i am going to copy that using ssh copy command ssh hyphen copy id then my machine name i mean the username and the ip address this is what my ip address just click it enter
so you have to give the password which is you have to put uh, when you are create the droplet so i am going to give my password yes click now so the ssh key has been copied to the master machine so here we have to try right now using this command to connect the master machine like ssh root at the ip address okay hit enter see you have connected the master machine easily the same way you have to connect all the slave machines too so now i am going to connect the slave machine one just copy the key already we have we create the key so we have to put copy command only ssh underscore copy id the username and the slave machine ip address so here the slave machine ip address is 46.101.102.11 just copy go there paste it so you have to put the password the password need only for the first time so now have can connect ssh root at the ip address yes we got connected the same to slave machine 2 So now these three machines has been connected by your remote desktop taking tool like mobile extreme. So now we are going to create the SSH key in master machine again for connecting these two slave machines to log in without password. So here I am going to give the I am going to create the key. Yes, sketch. Key gen. Hit enter. Yeah, the key has been created. You know the command, right? Yes, sketch copy ID. And we need to connect the slave machine 1 and slave machine 2 so now i am going to connect the slave machine 2 first give s yes, the permission and the slave machine password hit enter
I think I missed the spelling. Yes. Now we can connect the slave machine to from the master machine without password. Just hit SSH, the username and the IP address. See, now you can connect the slave machine without password from the master machine. The same way you have to do that in slave 1. So we are going to copy the slave 1 IP and here just click exit to log out from the slave 2 machine from the master machine we already create the key so we just copy the key from the master to slave 1 copy id username at the ip address hit enter asking the permission so the slave 1 password Yes, it's copied. So now we are going to give SSH root command for the log SSH root at the IP address. Hit enter. See, now you are logging into slave 1 from the master machine. So the next video, we are going to see what are the essential commands in Linux for the DevOps engineer. If you want to ask me anything, you just click the command. If you want to ask me, if you have any questions, please command this video. I'm going to answer on it. Thank you.